Poco C61 is one of the latest phones that ships with Android 14 out of the box and that you can buy with just $99 or under 7,000 rupees. Although the phone is a mid-ranger, it is beautiful and is worth the value for the money. If you would like to buy the Poco C61 and wishes to learn all about the phone before you buy it, then, we've got all you need to learn about the phone in this video. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ian from Eric Tech. First, let's unbox the Poco C61. The Poco C61 is designed with a premium in mind as the device has a glass back and glass front with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protecting the front glass of the device. Having 8.3mm as the thickness, this device is fairly slim and weighs about 193 grams, very light but definitely not the lightest phone in this price range. The device has a mic and USB Type-C inlet at the bottom and it is a dual nano SIM with standby support. Graced with a 6.71 inches HD plus total display size and supports up to 90 Hz refresh rate. Oppo claims C61 has IPS protection but the phone is not IP rated so I'd recommend that you mind the phone around liquid substances. Because the phone has a 500 nits maximum brightness, it might not be very convenient to operate in a bright daylight but I assume, this is not a deal spoiler especially given the price of the phone. Along with an external speaker that produces good quality sound, the phone also has a space for a 3.5mm jack, making it possible for you to use wired headset with the POCO C61. Now, the chipset. The device is powered by a MediaTek Helio G36 which is a very basic chipset. No surprises, given the price of the phone, you can only expect a chipset as basic as this. Therefore, the device shines mostly on basic performances. As for the battery, this device comes with a huge 5000 mAh battery but the downside here is, the 10 watts charger brick the phone ships with. That's a pretty slow charger brick for the phone battery but for the phone's price range, you can't expect more. Poco C61 comes with two storage options, you can either go for the 4GB RAM and 64GB ROM or, the 6GB RAM and 128GB ROM, the choice is yours but it should be noted that this device storage tech is not UFS. Again, at this price range, it'll be a surprise to find this device with a UFS storage tech. However, the device supports expandable RAM up to 6GB of RAM. In terms of supports, POCO promises support for up to 3 years of Android security updates and 2 major Android updates for POCO C61 users. By this, you can expect that POCO C61 would support Android 15 and possibly, Android 16. So, for worries over apps such as WhatsApp, you can be sure that they'll be supported on this phone for years to come. For gamers, POCO C61 is definitely not close to being the best but it supports enough games for the price. Basically, you can well install and play most basic games such as Temple Run among other action games but most likely you'll have issues playing really resource monger games such as Asphalt on the phone. The phone also doesn't install most of the resource monger apps such as Benchmarks. This is largely because the chipset the phone ships with is not optimized for these use cases. With 4G LTE, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you have enough connectivity tools on this device. Certainly, no 5G support on this device but these are enough connectivity tools with the best possible performance and speed fast enough to cater for all possible connectivity needs on this device, hassle-free. As for the camera, POCO C61 comes with a 5MP selfie cam and 8MP main cam. The single 8MP main camera of the POCO C61 has HDR, dual LED flash features and captures video at 1080p at 30fps. For pictures, the main camera supports 3x digital crop zoom, 1x shooting mode completely absent pro mode or manual mode. As for the selfie camera, it's a basic 5MP camera but captures 1080p videos at 30fps. Apart from basic camera features output, don't expect to take stellar photos with the POCO C61 selfie camera. However, the selfie camera is efficient for video calls, screen sharing and face scanning among other similar features. The selfie camera is just not multimedia ready. Out of the box, POCO C61 has FM radio built-in and supports for compass are added. 
Also, the device has other utility apps such as GPay, World Clock, Calendar and Navigation installed by default. Google TV and Find device of all the utility apps built in, are especially sought after. To sum it all, if you were looking for an Android device that has support for fingerprint lock in addition to the basic locks, fairly slim, has support for double nano SIM in standby mode, supports wired headphones, built on Android 14 and that's under $90 or 7000 rupees, Poco C61 is one of the best devices you can get. Now, we have come to the end of this review. If you have seen this review to this end, thank you for watching and for your time. If you have specific questions to ask, either it's covered in this review or not, or, you have some issues with using the POCO C61, let's read your questions in the comments and we'll respond ASAP. Okay, remember to follow our channel on YouTube, our page on Facebook and our Twiddle channel. Also, remember to check back on our channels for extended review of POCO C61 device which we usually upload after 6 months of extended experiences with the device. Until we meet again, this is Ian. Thank you and God bless.